Okay, so today we're going to talk about Die Cast Jonesy. Is he good? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about um, everything about this guy. We're going to talk about his skills. We're going to talk about the support perks that you use with this guy. We're going to talk about the kinds of weapons that I prefer to use. Uh, we're going to talk about everything to do with Die Cast Jonesy and what makes him such an awesome, fun character. All right, guys, if you love what we're doing with the channel, and uh, you want to support, please use our supporter creator code. It goes a long ways to helping us be able to continue doing this. So thank you so much, guys. All right, let's get right into it. So Mr. Diecast Jonesy, guy looks like a total beast, man. The Terminator is one of my favorite looking heroes in the entire game. I love, love the Cyborg Jonesy. Looks so good. So he's got going commando. Frag Grenade and Warcry. So something noteworthy is that he does not have Shockwave. That is a huge kick in the butt. I would, man, I wish I could get rid of Frag Grenade and get Shockwave because, man, not having Shockwave sucks. Sucks bad, man. Sucks bad. But that's not really what he's all about. It's not what he's designed to do. Um, so we're gonna look at um, we're gonna look at his uh, his skills here and show you just what's to down with the Metal Soldier. So, we've got Boomstick. As a standard perk, increases going commando damage by 25%. So, that's his thing. He is a going commando hero. As a commander perk, we get real. Now, increases going commando damage by 50% and changes the damage type of the going commando to energy, giving it an awesome visual feel, giving it a wicked sound effect, and allowing you to melt through elemental enemies like they are candy. It is really fun, man. This is a great, great commander perk. If you are a fan of the minigun and you want to turn it from a pansy little tinker tool into a dominating force of nature, this is the guy for you. He is a beast, man. Super, super fun. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, how I built this guy with his perk loadout. Um, I decided to go with Blast in the Past because of course I did. Blast in the Past is absolutely unstoppable. Uh, this is the, one of the most powerful team perks in the entire game. Just a monster ability, removing all of your shield, but increasing your max health by 200%. Holy moly. So you're basically running around with a 1 million health character. Uh, you can get over 1.2 million uh, with, a, with a good build. Um, but it varies, you know, a little bit up, a little bit down. I think the maximum you could possibly do is 1.4 million, but that's a garbage character. <laughs> That's just going for health, not not synergy. So uh, the blast in the past, we have to pick two Dino heroes to activate this talent. So these are the two heroes you want to pick with him. You pick Saurian Might, featuring Rex Jonesy. That's his ability. Every one second, you get to add three percent of your current health to the damage of your next ranged weapon hit. So every second, your your, your bullet becomes super powered. And the amount of power you get is based on how healthy you are. If you have a million health, 3% of a million is 30,000 extra bonus damage every second. So just horrifically powerful. So good. So good. Uh, then we've got Saurian Hide with Prehistoric Izza. This gives you an extra 33 armor so long as your shield is depleted, which is all the time since you have Blast in the past uh, taking away your shield. So awesome. Great combo. We got your your offensive guns, your defensive armor, so really good activator for the blast in the past. Then we've got ain't done yet. This is Sergeant Jonesy. Sergeant Jonesy gives you an extra five seconds of going commando, which is amazing because you want this thing to last as long as possible. Because man, you get a pile of damage out of this tool, and uh, yeah, yeah, you want to make sure it uh, you get the the most bang for your buck. So because we're focusing heavily on this. On the going commando, we want to make sure that we get all the buffs that we can possibly get for this ability. Uh, commando Spitfire is giving us going again. Going again decreases the going commando cooldown by 30%, allowing you to use the ability more often. So that's really, really important because we, we want to use this skill as many times as we possibly can over the course of the mission. And uh, this guy will give us an extra boost to that. Now, last but not least, we have the Survivalist Jonesy survivalist skill eliminations heal you for 39 base health over three seconds duration refreshes with additional eliminations so as long as you keep killing you keep healing 
slow and steady. So really, really good uh, high sustain ability uh, that works fantastic, whether you're getting kills from your abilities or from your traps or from whatever source that you are getting your kills from, uh, that health will just keep on rolling in. So that is the, uh, the die cast Jonesy. Now his abilities are really, really cool. So with going commando, the going commando ability is you just pull out a minigun and you just start absolutely tearing everything up. Uh, it lasts for a good long time with, with your bonuses and does an incredible amount of damage to all your enemies. Uh, you typically want to wait until you get to the start of an engagement where you have lots of enemies to shoot at and then you just backpedal as they run into you you just kind of spray back and forth and just cleave everything into dust this thing will tear up in a crowd in a hurry man in a hurry frag grenades you want to make sure that you use these throw them directly into the ground or throw them into packs of three or more enemies if you want to get any real effect out of them um, they can be good for knocking enemies down or stunning them or staggering them, just giving you a little bit of extra time to not tank damage and not get ganged up on. Uh, the war cry, you throw up your hand, screaming your war cry, and it gives you a massive, massive damage bonus to you and your entire team. It gives you 45% extra weapon damage bonus, 30% faster fire rate, and it even increases your melee uh, attack by 20% if you're a melee character. And this one lasts for 12 seconds, so pretty nasty. Use these uh, abilities in conjunction with each other to completely destroy just groups and groups of enemies. Like, it's crazy. Like, with, between going commando and the war cry, going back and forth between these two abilities, the going commando just tears up entire groups. And then the war cry, you can pull that, you know, you pull that out to give you that extra boost in between, um, in between your, your minigun barrages. And it allows you to take down some big enemies really, really fast. Not to mention buffing your entire group. So if you guys are actually working together and staying close, you can get a massive, massive team advantage. Now, the Going Commando is a sick ability that is has a lot of uses. But one really key use is its ability to destroy a mini boss with ease. Oh my gosh. If you take on a mini boss with a, with a Going Commando, the Going Commando, since it's an ability, doesn't have any... Um, any damage loss like a lot of a lot of mini bosses will reduce the amount of damage that you do with certain kinds of attacks like physical attacks or they'll be specific like uh there'll be a nature enemy that where you have to use fire and if you use you know water you're going to get you know huge redu you know, reductions in damage well the, the command commando is uh, an ability so it doesn't have any plus or minus damage it automatically does full damage against mini bosses and with this build doing enhanced damage with enhanced uh, fire, you know, duration, and with the extra uh, bonus of being an energy type, you can actually like d just devastate a mini boss just horribly uh, using this ability. You'll see that, man, I tear that mini boss to pieces. So really, really fantastic weapon. Now with this guy here, because of the type of build that we're using, we're using an immortal build with a blast in the past. So it's, this is kind of like an Immortal Gunner build, but because we're not using Bulletstorm, Jonesy, and Crackshot, uh, instead we're using the Going Commando skills, we are not going to be using LMGs for this character. Instead, I highly recommend real SWAT-style gameplay. Use, um, use hit-and-run tactics, use a Bobcat, or use a Silent Spectre. I like to use the Silent Spectre uh, because it has a fast reload and it allows you to really stay in the combat and you you know have very little downtime between between barrages so very very effective in this match i used a fire specter specifically to counter the nature enemies to get the maximum advantage over them and man it worked like a charm so be smart with what weapons you use given that the loadout that you have is going to get a damage per second bonus because of sorry and a might but is not going to have any other um, weapon advantages pushing you to use one weapon or another you could technically use any weapon at all with this build whether it be a sniper rifle uh, an assault rifle a shotgun it doesn't matter any weapon would you would work with this build because we're not using weapon specific talents so it's a because of that that versatility um, it this is a very fun very you know customizable style of gameplay you can destroy everything using your mini guns whenever it's up and then whenever it's not up you can choose to use any kind of gun in the entire game uh, i highly recommend guns that have a good rate of fire that way the saurian might is procking every second 
really, really fast, just one, 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 one. And since you're firing the whole time, you're gonna trigger that extra one, one, uh, that extra damage bullet instantly instead of having to, you know, shoot and then it's ready, but you're still reloading or whatever. You know, fast firing weapons allow you to really take the maximum effect from that damage per second bonus on uh, on the Saurian Might skill. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, this video, this breakdown of Diecast Jonesy. Uh, I love this guy. I love how he looks. I love how he plays. Um, he's not necessarily, he's not a god tier character by any means, but he is a really high tier fun character that looks incredible. Man, I wish I could take this, the just the cosmetic and use this on some other characters because I love it so, so much. I love the metal. I love the beret. I love the green thematic um, color. It just, everything about this character makes me happy. So <laughs> uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for all the support on, on YouTube and on Twitch. We're out here streaming over 18 hours a day, every day with no days off, doing 81 hour marathons using the help, you know, with the help of my wife and man it's it's just a blast thank you guys uh i really hope that you guys come on join us over on twitch and uh come over and ask me hey vash how do i play some games with you because i play with my viewers all day every day and i would love to teach you how our system works so that you can play with us too all right guys make sure you like and subscribe ring that bell leave that thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think of the diecast jonesy are you as big a fan as i am uh and if so you know, what type of support builds did you use when you went and, you know, put this guy together? All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.